Hi, welcome back to the Rural Project again. So, we're here back at the land. I'm going to carry on moving all of this, uh, all of this wood that I've booked up to length or left it as long, long logs. Get them in the trailer, get them loaded up to the wood processing area. That's some of the some of the wood that we've, uh, that we've booked up already, and some of these uh, some of these rounds here, or some of these lengths of wood. Sorry, they need to go into the trailer, and they'll get cut up with the with the swing saw. Just want to give you a, yeah, a bit of a view of the, the clearing that we've been doing. So hopefully you've seen the previous videos where this was uh, full of full of down trees, dead standing trees laid on the ground, all cleared now. Now you'll see. Now you'll see behind me some of the stuff that still needs to be worked through. So there's a tree laid up in a tree here, which I need to work my way through. And a couple more trees and some dead standing that uh, they need to come down. What I am going to do today is try and finish the cleanup of this area. So that means I'm going to load the trailer, put some uh, put some firewood in that trailer. Maybe two two trips I'm thinking it's going to take to clear all of this. And then I'm going to bring the chipper down and I'm going to uh, chip all the wood that I've made a mess with. Get all that chipped and only then am I going to uh, start cutting any more wood. I want to sort of tidy this area up first, make it, uh, make it look nice. And from a chipping point of view, you have to work my way through this. This pile here, and there's one similar size to this a little bit further up the hill. Right, let's get that trailer loaded and get all this wood taken to the wood processing area. Uh, 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 come here, come here, come here. Now what I've also got to do is pick up all these logs that roll down the hill. When I was booking these, I was using gravity to help me. So rolling them from up there rather than having to carry them. The well, majority stopped where they should have done, but a few. I need gravity a bitch. Well, these uh, he's worked the way down the hill. So I'll, uh, I'll pick up all of these now and bring them back into the trail. And then I'll stand up there and uh, we shall launch all of those. I think that may well fill the trailer, but then what I'll do is I'll try and lay a load of logs on the top. Hey, Bailey. I'll try and lay a load of logs on the top and uh, fill this trailer with, uh, as high as I can. Right, let's, uh, let's stick the time lapse on and uh, watch this trailer get filled. So you might have been wondering uh, why I just didn't back the trailer down even further, saved me walking. But uh, reality is, it's, you won't have seen it on camera, this is really steep this hill. And uh, the concern is if I get down there, the ground's still really wet from all the overnight dew. If I get down there, I might not be getting back up again easily and I just don't want to be winching this morning. So I'd rather, uh, come here. I'd rather be sort of up here and walking a bit more than, uh, than winching. And as you can see that is the load of logs, way more than I was expecting. 
still got these to put on so I'm going to see how many of those I can put on put a couple of straps over and try and secure them down and then, and then we'll get this up the hill to the uh, to the firewood processing area right let's get you guys on time lapse again to see me working uh, working super quick Now that is a loaded trailer. So a little six before there, fully loaded up. So I'm six feet tall. This is it, that uh, for the five and a half foot height. Stacked wood, there's a lot of weight in here. I'm sure I'm gonna have a few casualties on the trip to the, uh, to the, to the processing area. But it's all right, because it's, uh, it's just how my access track. So it doesn't matter if a couple of pieces fall off, we'll, uh, we'll pick them up on the next trip around. Right, let's, uh, let's get this to the processing area, unload, and then back here for another load. I don't know if you can see it, but there are one, two, three, four deer just running away there. Man, it's years since I've seen any deer here. Now they're heading up to the road there, so I don't know if they're going to get across because there is a fence. Luckily, uh, barely the wonder dog they never saw them. That is so strange because when I got down here, Bailey sort of headed up the hill there, his head down as though he was on something and then he just turned around and came back down again. And they were bedded down, a big dead tree just behind there, you see all the, uh, all the ferns. They were bedded down behind there and Bailey got to about here, he sort of run up, got close to the ferns, turned around and came back down here. I know in a lot of those uh, American programs you see deer popping through the woods like all the time. You don't, you don't see that here. Man, that's the first time I've seen any in, uh, in years. If I remember, I'll stick some clips of deer that I've caught on the cameras, but it's, it's very rare that I see any. Usually it's sort of five o'clock in the morning and the trail camera will pick them up. That's all. So now this is, uh, that's pretty cool. Great, I'm gonna uh, untie this now. Get all of this stacked away. So we'll, uh, we'll add to the pile here that's gonna go through the swing saw. And all the rounds. I'll drop down there next to the log splitter and we'll uh, we'll get them through the log splitter sometime. Well, I've uh, I've finished. Trailer empty. Swing saw pile even bigger. And all the uh, all the rounds nice and neatly stacked, ready for processing through the uh, through the splitter in the future. While I was doing this and concentrating, I noticed uh, there was a crime committed here. Let me show you the, uh, the trail of what's happened. I'm not sure if you can see it here, but there's a, a drag mark. I think we've had some firewood theft going on. I've got my suspicions. Was it you? Bailey? Bailey? Bailey, sit. Was it you? No, no, he says he's innocent. Let's have a look, see what evidence we can find. Oh! That looks to me like he's not so innocent after all. What else you got? They look like uh, slobbery gun marks to me, barely from you. Yeah, just doggy size, that isn't it? Hey! So I think we found who the, uh, who the firewood theft culprit is. Oh, Bailey the Wonder Dog. Right, I'll get the stuff put back in the pile. I'm going to take a trip up the hill now and just uh, see if there's any more signs of that those deer. It's a nice view from up here of all the firewood inventory. It's going to keep me busy and, uh, and keep me warm. Right, let's get up the hill and see if I can see any deer. So this is, is great deer terrain. See the tracks going off there. I 
Yeah, that's up the hill we're barely going. Nose down, Bummer. Whoa! You won't be able to see this. I need one nasty looking spider. I'll walk around and miss that. You can see it better from this side. We've had a tree come down recently, by the looks of it. Well, this is the track that they went uh, running off on. They're headed in the opposite direction. I'm heading to where they were, where they were bedded down. See the car down there. Oh, well, there you go. I'm not going to let this come out like on camera. So that is a deer track. Another one there, the hoofs. And this is the area where I first saw them, just near these ferns. I was expecting to see a big area all laid down, but. Nothing obvious. No, yeah, nothing there. Uh, nothing really obvious there as to where exactly they were bedded down. Let's uh, head back to the car. Just see something here. I want to have a quick look at. I'm not sure what's been uh, making a mess here. Nothing, nothing obvious. All right, let's get back to work. Fun over. It's interesting when you're down the hill, you can't actually see this, but I don't know if these marks are from from deer sort of coming up and down this hill, or, or something else. It seems strange. I have a feeling it's more from like a wombat or something just kind of burrowing in and just scratching up the surface, seeing what bugs are underneath. I can't see any hoof prints, but, uh, but they, they do look like the size of a hoof print, but. There's no, there's no actual shape of a hoof in any of the indentations. Okay, we've got the next load in the trailer now, as you can see. So that one came from here. That load was pushed up against the, the tree. Got a couple of rounds laid on the floor, keeping it off, off the mud. Very, very similar to that. Well, I'll tell you what I find. If you have this, uh, these branches logs lent up against trees or sort of just stacked in a neat pile they don't dry out that well so these logs on the top were towards the bottom of the pile what you can see there is that that's all mud obviously i've not put mud on these they've been in that position for, for a few years um so three years now or more over the passage of time you get leaves landing on there and rotting down and um it's just resulted in yeah all the all the wood there just just being wet it's not dried out it's uh, still very, very damp in there, even though it's been there. Well, there were dead trees when I put them there, and uh, they've been there for a few years and just, just never really dried out. And obviously, they'll be fine once I uh, once I book them to length and get them in the woodshed and dry them out. But yeah, just just goes to prove that if you yeah, if you leave them leave them in piles, it doesn't really work that well. You don't get a good enough airflow through them, and uh, they're too long for the moisture to come out the ends. Right, let's get this load now all the way down into the wood processing area, unload the trailer, come back. I've got one more load, and then that will be all of the wood taken out of this area for now, anyway. Oh, the sun's out now, which is nice. Right, I've got the last wood pile to uh, to sort through. There's definitely a full trailer load there. Anyway, let's, uh, let's get the time lapse going. Let's get this stuff loaded into a trailer, and then that will be it for moving logs today.
Let's uh, get this snout back into the wood processing area and uh, we will then stop and have some sweet. It's a demanding dog. Two, a one demanding dog. Okay, so that is uh, okay. So that's now fully loaded, as you can tell. So that's all the piles of wood that I've got in this area. I'll uh, get this now down to the processing area, firewood processing area, and I'll get this down to the firewood processing area. And I'm going to stop and have some lunch and a drink, and uh, bring you back straight after that. Okay, so I have uh, unloaded the trailer now. I've just got a call. Um, from, a, from a customer asking for another three cubic meters of firewood so I'm going to call this video for today won't be doing any more I'm going to get, uh, get the trailer loaded up with three cubes and uh, get myself out of here and get that delivery done this afternoon get a bit of cash so as you can see that's a lot of wood that's going to go through the swing saw there are three rows there of wood that's going to go through the splitter and what burly box there I don't know what's up with him he's uh, He's limping his, I think it's his left leg. I'm gonna get him, uh, get him back as well. Take him to a doggy, uh, doggy, doggy wash on the way home. Get him cleaned up. But yeah, he's he's gonna hurt himself. So I can't see anything that's wrong. But he's definitely limping. Stop him. Still runs around like a lunatic. But um, yeah, he's in pain. It's his, it is, it's his left leg. You can see him sort of holding it up slightly. Right, so I really appreciate you all watching. Thank you so much and um, stay tuned and we'll see you on the next video.